Okay, so the kind of things that um, Project Manager is going to be communicating is, is the challenges or changes that are going to be happening to the, the project, and obviously a progress report. Um, and then frequency, one of the main points. Um, databases, probably with the contractor, they're always going to be there, always going to be talking, what's going on, is there any problems. Um, and then weekly basis with external PM, it's probably not going to be as often, it's not going to be on a daily basis because probably wouldn't be enough time. Um, but on a weekly basis, just to round up how the week's gone, what the next week's going to be going into, etc. etc. Um, and monthly presentations at the end of the month involving the client and the contractor, just as for the internal stakeholders, just, just so the communication's there, um, so that everyone knows what's going on. Um, so the external project manager, this is the one involved with the communication, uh, the end users and the client. Um, they're going to have more of a, it's going to be, good. well, the communication strategy is going to be more whatever they can't see really. It's emails, presentations on a, on a monthly basis. They're going to be going to the presentations that the project manager will be going to be set, setting up. Um, sometimes video conferencing, if they're a long way away, they obviously can't get there, so they'll have to video conference her phone. Um, They'll be doing the social media for the end users, for the students, to keep them update, up to date uh, with what's going on, if it's going on target, when, when they're going to move in. Um, and then there will be a backup of uh, uh, backing up all the meetings with me, so the um, external project manager will have give, give you know, the client some minutes to go with, and or a formal email. Um, why or what? Uh, so this is going to be a line of communication between the internal PM and end users. Um, again, similar kind of things. Project, progress of the, of the project, changes, communication of info, the external stakeholders, for example, if there's going to be any feedback that the um, client wants to give, they'll communicate that with the contract with the internal project manager. Uh, frequency, this will be on a weekly basis with the client. Um, and weekly with the other project manager, uh, and uh, monthly updates for students and staff. This stage of the um, project is nearing completion, um, so there's going to be more info given to the students and staff, the end users. Uh, contractor, uh, fitting out to the subcontractors, the communication strategies will be oral communication, uh, formal letters when needed, if an extension of time is needed, uh, meetings back, backing up with minutes, similar again. Um, so again, there'll be challenges that may come up, we'll be communicating with the project manager, we'll communicate with the external project manager, we'll communicate with the client. Um, and progress, obviously, and completion date, just examples again. Um, frequency on a daily basis, basis with the project, project manager, uh, it's, uh, internal. Weekly basis with internal stakeholders, um, and then attending monthly meetings with the external and all the stakeholders involved there. Um, finally, we've got the funding body, it's University of Greenwich, the client. Um, now, they'll be attending the meetings um, that are set up by project managers and uh, contractors. Um, email, communicate by email, phone calls, similar to previously said video conferencing if they're not always available, video conferencing, telephone calls, a good way of doing it, but face to face is better for gaining feedback more easily. Um, Internet sites as well, again, pretty similar uh, for transfer and communication to end users. Uh, well, what progress of the info? Um, progress of the info, so how it's going on, whether there's completion date going to be hit. Uh, communi communicate a change wanting in the project, if they want a change done, they're going to have to communicate with the project manager. Um, they're going to have to give feedback on the project, is it going well? Do they want to change something? Is that good quality, bad quality, for example? Um, and frequency again, weekly basis with the uh, project manager, uh, monthly meeting uh, with internal stakeholders, um, so I get the minutes for uh, be able to convey feedback, um, and monthly basis for students and staff, so letting them know what's going on, how it's going, um, and stuff like that. So in summary, uh, the lesser key stakeholders can be easily, easily um, or easier. Uh, mitigated from the project by monitoring strategies um, and uh, keep them satisfied, keep them informed, keep them out of the project. Um, prioritising the stakeholder, key stakeholders, lessen the risk of the possibility of a negative impact. Um, 
on the project. Uh, communicating with the stakeholders the most relevant and best way is essential for keeping uh, the stakeholders happy and preventing causing delays in work. Obviously, um, if you don't communicate, they're going to have problems, they're going to stop work. It's all good, a good, good way of just communicating. Um, modifying each communication strategy, particular to each client, each, each stakeholder, rather, sorry, uh, is important in creating a trusting, efficient relationship. Again, you, otherwise, you get lost in translation if you're using language that's just not appropriate for certain stakeholders. Um, working on feedback, um, for the, this is more for the contractor and project manager, and listening to what key stakeholders have to say is essential for the smooth running of the project. Uh, if they don't listen, then well, it's going to cause, it cause delays. Um, it's best to work in collaboration rather than working against each other. Um, then we have my references um, for this presentation. Okay, thank you.